What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren, and today we have a lot of really exciting and very interesting information about Doctor Strange 3, some really big details to go over about the next Doctor Strange movie, and also his role to play in Avengers Secret Wars. And it might not be what exactly you think it's going to be. In fact, Doctor Strange might take a seat on the sidelines for a little bit during the multiverse saga. And in this video, we're going to talk about whether or not Doctor Strange is actually good for our multiverse or is he actually responsible for some of the destruction of it? Now, a lot of people have been asking when exactly are we going to be getting Doctor Strange 3? From what we've heard, it sounds like it's going to come after Avengers 5 because we already have so many movies coming before Avengers 5 like Deadpool and Wolverine, Captain America 4, Brave New World, The Thunderbolts, Blade, Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland. There's a lot that has to happen between now and Avengers 5. So not much room beforehand for Doctor Strange 3, but luckily for us, there's a lot that is going to happen between Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars. And because of the events of Doctor Strange 3, sadly, doesn't seem like Doctor Strange is going to be a part of Avengers 5. But the sorcerer that will be a part of the Avengers team is most likely going to be Wong, who is the Sorcerer Supreme at this point in time. And if you recall all the way back to the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings post credit scene, we saw that it was Wong essentially recruiting Shang-Chi and Katie in into the Avengers, plus getting the other Avengers, Captain Marvel and Bruce Banner, in on what was happening. Wong seems to be taking the lead on things. But that's fine because Doctor Strange has a lot to deal with and it all starts with Doctor Strange 3. Technically, he's already been doing a lot more bad than good, but we'll get into that in this video. And of course, if you're new, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on the latest MCU news. We're also doing a giveaway, only two days left. We'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So a lot of the Doctor Strange 3 news that we have has come from Alex Perez over over at thecosmiccircus.com. Big shout out to him. From what we know so far, it sounds like Doctor Strange 3 is going to somewhat adapt the Time Runs Out storyline from Marvel Comics. Now, of course, Marvel never really adapts everything page for page, of course, but one of the biggest things you have to know about Time Runs Out is it happens right before Secret Wars. In fact, the very next story picks up in Secret Wars right after Time Runs Out. And what happens at the end of Time Runs Out is essentially incursions occur and they go right into to the destruction of the multiverse. The ending is basically the heroes not being able to stop the incursions and the destruction of the multiverse, which brings us right into Avengers Secret Wars. And that is where we're at with Doctor Strange 3. At the end of Doctor Strange 2, Clea showed up and said that Doctor Strange caused an incursion and he is going to help fix it. Plus, all throughout Multiverse of Madness, we have seen that Doctor Strange himself has been behind incursions already. And based off of what we know about Doctor Strange 3 already, Clea has kind of tricked Doctor Strange. Yes, he did cause an incursion, and yes, I'm sure she wants to fix it. However, she failed to mention that she is working with a group called the Black Priests, and they believe that Doctor Strange is actually a threat to the multiverse, and they mean to stop him. More on that in a bit, but let's dive into the details of what Alex Perez has recently said about Doctor Strange 3. He provided these new details in a Discord Q&A for thecosmiccircus.com, in which somebody asked him if he still expects Doctor Strange to be absent from Avengers 5, as he will be busy with what's happening in Doctor Strange 3, but also play a huge role in Secret Wars, and go on to fight Kang. This is what Alex replied. One of the ideas I had heard regarding Doctor Strange's role in the multiverse saga overall was to have his character struggle with the moralities of what he believes is right and wrong. In most universes, we've seen Stephen Strange do something that he believes is right and is ultimately for the greater good, when in reality, it backfires and ends up causing more harm than good. Not only that, but it paints Strange as the antagonist in these cases, which we kind of just talked about, which we will talk about more in just a bit. He continues to state, such is the case with Strange Supreme from What If, Defender Strange, Doctor Strange from Earth 838, and Sinister Strange. When presented with the fact that in most universes, Strange's actions often cause more harm than good, Strange 616, our main Doctor Strange, will struggle with the sense of whether what he is doing is right. Ultimately, coming to terms with the decision that perhaps simply removing himself from the situation and letting someone else handle it is the best course of action. So like I mentioned in the beginning, he is contemplating whether or not he should take a seat on the sidelines for now. Because you can definitely argue that him and a lot of his variants have definitely done more harm than good 
for the multiverse. And that's what the Black Priest, this new group that is going to be introduced in Doctor Strange 3, is going to show him, going to present to him, going to tell him about in order to try and basically stop him. But Alex Perez finishes by stating, of course, it's all a setup for Strange to step up to the plate and become one of the most important heroes of the multiverse saga, and I don't expect them to change much of the story since this is supposed to take place during a couple of projects. Now, it's important to note that before, Alex Perez did state that Doctor Strange most likely is not going to be present during Avengers 5, stating that Doctor Strange 3 and the events that are to follow are the reason why he is not going to be there, which makes sense because at the end of Doctor Strange 2, he essentially went to a different universe or a different realm. We saw him go to the Dark Dimension, but who knows where he goes after there. In previous reports, Alex Perez also added that you have to give the Avengers a reason to lose, stating Doctor Strange not being there as one of those reasons. And despite what we saw in Multiverse of Madness, him going up against the Scarlet Witch, he still is one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. So of course he's going to play an insanely huge role in Secret Wars and some other projects too it sounds like. But of course it all starts with Doctor Strange 3. Really it started with Multiverse of Madness, but now we'll dive even deeper into his personal story because of course Multiverse of Madness was about him and the Scarlet Witch. But now we're going to dive deep into the role that Doctor Strange himself is specifically specifically playing throughout the entire multiverse saga. He has already caused incursions to happen, and there perhaps are a lot more that he's caused by other variants that we haven't been introduced to. But in the comics, the Black Priests are a multiversal group that, to simplify it, try to stop the multiverse from breaking down. They try to stop incursions and they try to prevent the collapse of the entire multiverse. Now, in the comics, Doctor Strange actually ends up leading the Black Priests. However, like I mentioned, this ultimately doesn't work. It ultimately still leads to the destruction of the multiverse and leads right into the events of Avengers Secret Wars. And this is most likely what is going to happen in Doctor Strange 3. I can see him deciding that instead of causing all this destruction that he doesn't want to happen, obviously, he'll join the Black Priests, much like he does in the comics. Now, he might not end up leading them, but the Black Priests might also ultimately decide that having Doctor Strange with them is better for the multiverse rather than having him out on his own. And he is incredibly powerful, so he could definitely help them. Plus, not to mention, Kang is still the major looming threat of the multiverse. He is still conquering many universes and timelines out there, and they're ultimately going to realize that as well and realize that Doctor Strange is going to be able to help. However, Alex Perez mentioned that this will kind of happen over the course of a few different movies. So at the end of Doctor Strange, 3, what happens throughout this movie, I think will ultimately lead to Doctor Strange deciding that he is essentially going to sideline himself, that everything that he's done so far has resulted in a negative outcome, has not helped the multiverse at all, and if he continues to do so, it will probably cause more harm than good. Now, I believe that this will be the case until we see that the Avengers have lost to Kang in Avengers 5. Plus, of course, we know there will be other movies in between Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars, and I think in these movies, in these other projects, we're going to see more heroes lose even more. This will essentially lead up to the destruction of the multiverse, and that's where Doctor Strange will come back in, because it's not like he can do any more harm after the multiverse has already been destroyed. We know that our main universe, and specifically our main Earth, is headed for an incursion with another Earth. Well, once the incursion happens and two universes collide, what more damage could Doctor Strange really do? Plus, you can imagine that our Avengers team and Wong would come out and say, hey, we need you. Get it together, man. Sure, you may have caused some stuff to happen, but without you, the whole universe is going to be doomed. And I believe that is where we're going to see the return of Doctor Strange. Now, keep in mind there are a lot of things that are going to happen between Avengers 5 and Secret Wars and a lot of things to happen in Secret Wars itself. I don't think Doctor Strange is going to be solely responsible for restoring the multiverse. I think a lot of characters are going to be involved in that, like Reed Richards and his son, Franklin Richards. Also, the Scarlet Witch will probably play a role as well, and that's another factor for Strange returning. The Scarlet Witch is probably going to return and try to help. Well, that should, in theory, be concerning for Doctor Strange. He should want to return to make sure that she's not still this evil being set out to, you know, kill a little kid. Because at the end of it all, even though he is not the Sorcerer Supreme, he still is responsible for, as he said, protecting R, or the people inside of the MCU, 
reality. And at the end of it all, of course, we know that he's not going to sit on the sidelines forever. So he will be an insanely important character in Avengers Secret Wars. But it sounds like he has to come face to face with himself in Doctor Strange 3. And I'm assuming that a variant of Kang is also going to be involved in Doctor Strange 3 and could even be the main villain of that movie. But based off of what we know about Doctor Strange 3 so far, let us know. Are you excited about it or not? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. Also, if you subscribe and leave a comment, you are entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, or some Marvel Legends items. We pick one winner at the end of each month, and the winner picks one item. Only a couple of days left, so be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter, and also Apple Podcasts and Spotify as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.